Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Adventurescape Haunted Hunt. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through chapter 4. Enjoy! Alright, get rid of all this dust. It's slow to disappear. Pick up the bell ringer. And the jar of fish. Add the bell ringer to the bell and ring it. And you see a cat. A cat! Alright, how do we get it out? Put this up there. And now knock it down. It's a cat! Alright, tap the cat. Yay, now we're a cat. Alright, so this next part is tricky. I'll try not to mess it up too much. But you're going to tap on the paw prints to the right. So, we have to find our way around. Wow, it's a little... Nope. 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 I think this is it. Uh-oh. Please be it. This is it. There we go. Alright. So. As you can see, the cat kind of sees in the dark. So there's a bunch of stuff here to notice. Um, if you tap on this, it says lovely blooming flowers and there are three fingerprints on it. If you tap over here, there's this uh, picture frame. You can't see where I'm tapping, but I tapped on the statue there. I tapped on the picture frame here. It says a snowy scene. There are five fingerprints. Um, and if you look at the desk where there are finger, where there are cat footprints, paw prints leading to it, the second book is missing. Okay. Uh, so those are all things to pay attention to. We're gonna need them. Um, All right, now change into a human and grab this book. And let's head downstairs. All right. Uh, again, there's a lot of things to pay attention to, but first, let's rip this curtain and grab the cord. Sorry about the noise outside. Uh, lift up the rug. Let's see. A floor safe. We'll come back to that later. Now notice uh, if you change into a cat, there's a lot of things here. Uh, the rug has seven fingerprints on it, and it has a scene of falling leaves. The couch has five butterflies. The first one is scratched up. And there are five vases, and the fifth one is broken. These all have paw prints leading to them, right? Uh, here's a star. So let's go. Uh, let's go through the door to the bedroom, and there's more to notice here. So the beach painting has one fingerprint on it. The bed has five pillows. The fifth one is messed up, not in order. And if you go here at the foot of the bed. The cat likes this particular pose. There's scratches on the second one. Uh, you can see the paw prints leading up to each of these. Okay, so uh, change back into a human. Pick up the chair leg and tie and open this to get a wheel and then tie the rope to the cauldron in the fire and pull it. Grab oh, All 
All right, grab the brass tab and the vault door ring. Uh, now, let's leave the room. Place the wheel over there, chair leg over here on the ladder, and now climb the ladder and place the book up there. I don't know why um, you would use a chair leg to replace this step, but whatever. Uh, now there's a crank, but you can't use it yet. So, um, we're gonna open the floor safe. So let's, let's go into cat mode again. Let's go upstairs. Um. So, remember the seasons go from winter, spring, summer, fall. Okay? So, winter you have this painting is five. So the first number is going to be five. Then spring, we have three here. So the next number is going to be three. Go downstairs. Um, the butterflies are considered summer. What am I talking about? Not the butter, uh, not the butterflies. Um, <laughs> the beach, I'm getting the two confused. The beach is the summer, has one. And the rug is fall and it has seven. So the numbers are five, three, one, seven. I hope that made sense to you. Five, three, one, seven. Now open the safe, change that. And now we have another vault ring, vault door ring. Okay, next, uh, let's go back upstairs and place this brass tab. All right, so now, again, we need some numbers. Uh, so start with, changing the cat, the books. The second book is missing. So come here, move the top one to the second. You see that? All right, now follow the, the paw prints downstairs. Down the stairs, down the stairs. She goes past the vases and breaks the fifth one. So the next one is going to be five. Then she makes her way to the couch where the, she scratched the first butterfly. So the next number is gonna be one. Then she makes her way into the bedroom where she scratches the second bedpost, so two. And then she makes her way up to the bed where she, I guess, slept on that pillow uh, and the fifth pillow. So all together we got two, five, one, two, five. Does that make sense? I hope so. So let's go back up. So two, five, one, two, five. There we go. All right, grab another vault ring, vault door ring, and change into a cat to see a key, a ghost key. All right, next, uh, let's go back to the bedroom. As a cat, you need to use the ghost key on this box here. And then take the winding key, and the diamond ring. All right, um, let's go back out, change into a human. Use the diamond ring to open this glass case holding the oil can. Use the oil can on the crank, and use the crank to now get another vault ring from the chandelier. Raise the crank again because we're going to need that door and it's blocking it. Alright. Next, let's go back upstairs and use the winding key on this music box. So, the notes are faint, we can barely hear. But if you change into a cat and tap on it again, you can see the sound. It goes five, four, one, what? Hold on. Five four, one, three, two, right? One, three, two, you see that? Okay, go to the piano and now you see five paw prints. So you need to tap on, just ignore anything that doesn't have a paw print. So five, four, 
one, three, two. So five, four, one. I don't know why it doesn't make a sound, but three, two. Should make a sound. It's a piano. I don't know what happened if they broke it or something. Um, if you turn this off, you can see there's a volt ring. All right, grab the volt ring and tap on the door here to the right of this statue. Um, and then place all the rings down. Alright, so this is how it goes. I have a picture on my website if it's easier for you to follow that, but it goes like so. go through. This next puzzle is a little ridiculous. Um, I really think it's stupid, but change into a cat. Oops. Change into a cat. And now you can see animals. You can change these. Oops. So you can change them from flying to walking creature. Um, this is the, the stupid part that makes absolutely no sense. You're supposed to know that green means land, blue means sky. Fine, fine, but you're supposed to know to change the triangles that point to the sky, blue, and the triangles that point to the ground, green. I, like, really? So, yeah, that's how it looks. And then just change it to a cat and make sure that that's it. Um, I have a picture on my website that's easier to look at, but, um, mental, I don't understand who would ever get that. So, take the book. Okay, take the key. And go back out. Remember, if you, if you still have the chandelier blocking the way, use the crank to raise it up. Use the key to unlock the door and go through. And that's the end of chapter four. I'll be back with chapter five in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.